Sway, and you're watching Black Top TV. All right, hello everybody. This is Tony with Black Top Magazine, and I tell you, I'm here with uh, yes. Tony Sarah, right? Yes. yes. All right, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, yeah. Tony. Beautiful Buick here. Thank I mean, you. Riviera's, you just can't go wrong. No, I know. It's. Yeah. I've been wanting one since I was a little kid, actually. Okay. And, uh, what was it about it when you were a little kid? That... Well, the styling is immaculate. The clamshells. Uh -huh. It's the only year they had the open and closed clamshells. Right. So that's really iconic. Yeah. And uh, the Grand Sport version is really over the edge. Yeah, so what's the Grand Sport version? Well, that if, if there's some up, extra upgrades, the 425 dual quad oh, okay. uh, engine, 360 horse. Uh, it's got uh, upgraded transmission, uh, rear end positive traction. There's some features in the uh, Interior. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a few extra options. So the mostly transmission. Trim, but then with the dual quad setup, plus yeah. GS. Yeah. Plus it's got a special BS code transmission that only oh. is on the Grand Sport. That if it's a real Grand Sport, they don't have that. Right. So, okay. So okay. I've checked all that. It's all matching numbers. Fantastic. Uh, original. So, but yeah, my father always had Buicks growing up too. Oh, okay. So he had Electras. You name it, uh, Wildcats. Uh -huh. So I really uh -huh. liked Buicks growing up, but he couldn't afford a rib. Right. So I told myself one day I'm gonna get a rib. I wish he was around right now. He passed, but he I'm sure back. he's looking down at you. Going yeah, he, I wish he car. could go for a ride. He'd, right. He'd have a lot of fun. Right. right. Well, I like. I mean. I'm 56, so Batman was a big thing for me when I was a kid and all. Oh, and it's yeah. got that Batmobile look. Yeah, you know, yeah, front on, it's, you know. it's, it's oh, definitely, yeah. we were just talking about that earlier. <laughs> Funny. So, uh, now, look, are you in the Drifters Car yep. Club? Yep. All right. And out of where are you? Where are you oh, I'm in Temecula. Oh, okay. So yeah, not far so, from here. Yeah, no, we're, right. we're close. There's a lot of Drifters here. Yeah. A lot of Drifters in the club. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds. Yeah, I've seen them walking around, so you got a good grouping of guys here. There's a lot of great yeah. people. Good. Good. Well, uh, and you haven't had this car very long. You yeah. found it where? In Idaho? I actually, I found it in Idaho on eBay. Yeah. And I've been looking for a Grand Sport for many, many months. Uh huh. And a black one. And with yeah. a black interior, and they're almost impossible to find. Yeah. So I had an alert set on my phone, and uh, one Sunday morning, her and I were sitting up in bed. It was about 8 o'clock in the morning, and she ordered her uh, uh, T Bird. Oh, okay. And so this is your wife's Steve Bird now? Uh, it's my girlfriend. Oh, girlfriend, okay. But that's hers. And that was being delivered, and it was en route with the trucking coming. So I, that Sunday morning, I was on the phone with them, checking on the delivery and all that. And I get an alert. Oh, 65 rib just popped up. So I go to look, and it's like, it's a Grand Sport. It's black. I'm going, oh, my <laughs> God. And uh, so I'm talking to the guy, the delivery guy, and I'm looking at the car while I'm talking to him on eBay. Right. And it, he had a couple YouTube videos he connected. So I'm watching these videos and I'm going, right. oh my God, this car is unbelievable. <laughs> so you turn the driver around to go pick it up? Well, <laughs> she's like, if you don't buy this car right now, I'm going to kill you. Wow. And you will, you will regret it the rest of your life. So it's either buy it now or make offer. And I figured, well, if I make an offer, Who knows? someone's going to snatch. Right. So boom, buy it now. <laughs> and I bought it. Sight unseen. Fantastic. And had it delivered. And... I right. was I was so happy, but the, the YouTube videos really showed it right in detail. Right. I figured, right. you know what? I, I'm gonna roll the dice, but I think I because Idaho, I think it'd be in a barn and it's all rusted bottom and everything. Yeah, but it, no, it's in beautiful shape. Yeah, they, they they did a really good job on it ten years ago. Okay, and it in the last ten years they said they drove it 500 miles. <laughs> so a rich attorney had it. And he had it all redone with redid the engine and repainted right. it. Didn't do a total frame off, but as close as they right, could. Right, right. I actually talked it. to him through, uh, he was the second owner before the guy I bought it from. Okay. And I talked, he's about 85 now. Uh -huh. And he told me a lot about the car too. Fantastic. So it's fun to Well, Tony, it's a beautiful car. Congratulations on your Thank find. You, Tony, Thanks for sharing it. it. Yeah. I, I, and whenever you want to look at it, go around. <laughs> all right. It's fun. Good. So, Thank Drifters you. out of, uh, well, you're out Temecula. of Temecula and all, but. Uh, Thanks for coming out. Thank you too. Appreciate All right, it. Very good. All right.